what was really happening with Bellatrix and Rodolphus Lestrange. Not much is said when it comes to Bellatrix Lestrange and her husband Rodolphus. There never seemed to be any proper meaningful connection between the two. It's clear that Bellatrix only ever had eyes for one man. So what exactly happened with Rodolphus? Why did she marry him? Did she ever really love him? Both Bellatrix and Rodolphus attended Hogwarts as Slytherin students, where they associated with other future Death Eaters such as Lucius Malfoy, Evan Rossier and Severus Snape. Bellatrix, born to the Black family, adhered to her family's views of pure-blood wizards living in a pure-blood society. She was incredibly loyal to her family, and dishonouring the House of Black was not nor would it ever be in her future. Now, because she met Rodolphus at such a young age, I do believe she did develop feelings for him originally, before she had met the Dark Lord. They would have spent some time together during their school days and also have heard the rumours about this dark wizard looking to enforce a pure blood environment amongst the wizarding world. Bellatrix was expected to marry a wizard of prominent stature and Rodolphus certainly fit the bill. The Lestrange name was one of the most respected wizarding names within the wizarding world for centuries. So when she did marry him sometime before the year 1971, she did so to satisfy her family's requirements. I do believe, however, there was a minor personal aspect of her marriage to him also. I also think it's the same for Rodolphus. He was required to marry a pure-blood witch as not to bring any dishonour upon his own family. As I've said, they may have both spent time together romantically before, but only up until the point they became Death Eaters. After that, their motives changed. Bellatrix developed an obsession with Lord Voldemort. Her entire life became a devotion to him and the remote feeling she had for Rodolphus would have completely diminished. But just as important the fact is, is that Rodolphus may have lost his feelings too. You see, he was not so much an obsessive follower, but he had an intense level of commitment to the Dark Lord. Their marriage was just to keep face and nothing more. The truth is, is that Bellatrix and Rodolphus never had the chance or time to develop any sort of a relationship. Bellatrix's allegiance was always to Lord Voldemort. And even if it wasn't, their time in Azkaban would have kept them apart too long. Love never really came into the question with the two. While Bellatrix may have took the vows and the Lestrange name, she never took anything else from the marriage. Thank you so much for watching today's video everyone and thank you to all of you who purchased your t-shirts as well. They are still available. We've got plain white, Ravenclaw blue, Hufflepuff yellow, Slytherin green and Gryffindor red. The link to get your very own t-shirt is in the description below. And make sure to tweet me or post on the Facebook page a photo of you in your shirt. And in the comments section below answer me this. What do you all think about Rodolphus and Bellatrix the Strangers marriage? Do you think it was just a face? Or do you think there was something more to it? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like any more of my other videos and feel I deserve it, then give this channel a subscribe. Thank you very much.